Welcome on the road to nowhere. Welcome to In Bed with Luxury, the inspiring and professional hotel check channel. What is luxury? This time we are on our way to a unique but unusual fine hotel. My name is Charles Padding and I've tested hundreds of luxury hotels all over the world. This time our hotel adventures lead us to the Explorer Hotel Torres del Paine in Patagonia in Chile, which does not offer golden water taps but jaw-dropping views. But where the hell is Patagonia? Well, for a start, try Chile, fly to Santiago, and then further to the southern tip of this very narrow but longest country in the world. Patagonia evokes images of a wild, cold, untamed and scarcely populated place where wild pumas hunt for their prey. Patagonia is shared by Chile and Argentina. The northern boundary is the Rio Colorado, the southern one the Straits of Magellan. And it is vast, around 1 million square kilometers, twice the size of Spain and just 2 million inhabitants. The name Patagonia comes from the word Patagon, which stands for giant. Magellan, the Spanish explorer, used this term in 1520 to describe the native tribes of the region, whom his expedition thought to be giants. The people he called the Patagons are now believed to have been the Tewelshi, who tended to be taller than Europeans of the time. Argentine Patagonia is, for the most part, a region of steppe-like plains. Towards the Chilean territory, vegetation becomes more luxuriant and there are also more animals like the guanacos. And the landscape often is breathtaking. Patagonia is divided by the Andes and the high rainfall against the western Andes and the low sea surface temperatures of, on the Chilean side give rise to cold and humid air masses producing the largest glaciers and ice fields in the southern hemisphere outside of Antarctica. Here you can see a giant ice cube, 250 square kilometers or 97 square miles is it big and is it still growing? The Perito Moreno glacier in the Argentinian part of Patagonia, which you can see here, is one of 48 glaciers fed by the southern Patagonian ice fields, which is the world's 
third largest reserve of fresh water. But the Morito Moreno glacier is not only a real beauty, it also causes a thrilling, spectacular rupture every three or four years. Pressure from the weight of the ice slowly pushes the glacier over the inner fjord of Lake Argentino. When the pressure gets too high, water breaks through the ice barrier, causing a spectacular rupture and sending a massive outpouring of water. So be ready, the rupture could happen any moment. Well, I guess we were lucky this time. So let's focus on the Explorer Hotel and its location, the real topic of this episode of In Bed with Luxury. The Torres del Paine National Park is a place of natural wonders. It is located around 112 kilometers north of Punta Arenas, where we landed. Its main attractions are three granite peaks that reach 2,500 meters above sea level. They are called Torre del Paine, which means, in a strange mixture of Spanish and the local Indian language, Towers of the Blue. It is here where we find a hotel like a shelter in Shangri-La. What is luxury? It may be just an awesome jaw-dropping view. Or the fact that you have a decent accommodation, good food, even a pool in the middle of a fantastic wilderness and experts to guide you through it, hiking or on the back of a horse. So let us talk about Explorer, a hotel and travel company that runs seven hotels in remote places in South America. In 1989, a group of friends who were enthusiastic about unconventional travel and adventure founded Explorer. The idea behind the company was to offer journeys in remote areas of South America, including really good accommodation. The first project that was launched was this hotel. Till today, the only luxury hotel with such a spectacular view of the Torres del Paine Massif. 42 of the 49 rooms offer existential questioning level views to the magic peaks. I didn't like the hotel from the outside to be honest. It looks a bit like a spaceship landed in nowhere land. But inside it is modern and cozy too. The architect used a lot of wood, lenga, cypress and almondrilla. three categories of rooms. A handful of standard rooms looking at the back side of the hotel. And 42 rooms and suites with splendid mountain views. The hotel also owns a boat waiting on Magic Lake Piho. And around 100 meters apart from the main building, which you can see here, you can enjoy a spa with a heated pool, a sauna and four whirlpools with a view to the Towers of Blue. And rather unusual for hotels, the Explorer has its own horses, carefully managed by a French lady and horse expert. The 26 horses 
of different breeds and crosses have been raised in the Ibanez family estate in the central valley of Chile. Horses are important because together with the explorer guides you can do around 40 explorations, walks as well as horseback rides. You can even meet real gauchos at an estancia. In Bed with Luxury tells you about the best excursions, the best rooms, the best hikes and the best travel time on our website. Have a look. So guys, see you next time at another In Bed with Luxury hotel check. Your Charles Paddington.